Internet, it's Jordan here, and right now I'm going to be showing you this lovely Yamaha PSR260 keyboard. Here's the layout 61 full size keys, they are touch sensitive, of course. And this is what it looks like. Oh, sorry if it can't be brought up to the camera, but I, I, need to, I, need to, I need to make myself seen. <laughs> There we go. So this keyboard comes with 61 keys, as I just said, 100 rhythms, 100 songs, 100 voices, four multi pads, and the really special surprise, which I may show you throughout this presentation. So let's just listen to some sounds. We have the grand piano here. Yamaha claims that it's from one of their high-end keyboards, but I don't see, I don't think it is, because the best piano is on the PSR 520, and you can't underestimate the PSR 520 with its great piano sound. This keyboard also borrows rhythms from that keyboard too, but it doesn't have all of them. So um, I will show you most of the really, really cool features of this keyboard. That these four multi-pads here, pressing these will create like little musical riffs. We can all agree they're not as good as those on the PSR 520. Anyway, moving on from the PSR 260 and 520 comparison, let's just focus on that for a change. Mm. Yeah. What I like about this keyboard is it's easy to use features. I mean, you've got metal speaker grills, which give it some really good sound. The speakers are really nice too. I like the speakers. Um, your buttons are here, song, style and voice. Like I said, it's a learning tool, but it is more than just a learning tool. If you're, fire, if you're really, really tired of playing the piano and really, really stressed, then you might want to consider resorting to the slightly more fun DJ mode. DJ! And you've got a whole lot of DJ dance sounds here. Yep, so for those who love the Yamaha DJX, there's something in there for you too. One. So we've got the education One, sounds too. Two, three, four. Which is basically for the education feature. Oh, lesson. DJ! Good. Very good. Excellent. Dictionary. So those are just what those keys up here do. And the other keys just bring you the sound effects of the classic DJX keyboard. But if we go to style, to, I mean voice number 99, we've got a few more sounds. And you can do something with that. So you can really you can really do some raving with this keyboard. I mean, I tend to have I tend to mess about with this a lot when I have the chance. And then you've got your drums your drums as well, which are also taken from the PSR 520. Well, apart from that, which is from the PSR 140. Some really nice drums there. Oh yeah, did I mention the DJ game? Of course I did. What about sounds? Well, there are a hundred of those to choose from, as I said. But I can tell you now, you're going to have a lot more fun if you switch over to the song selection and pick number 81, which starts the DJ game selection. So I'm going to go to song, press number 81 and press start. <laughs> Stop. 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> So that's just about it, because I'm not going to go into the education feature, because who wants to use that? It's completely lame. Although this keyboard does talk, which is kind of nice, which I quite like. So I'm just going to end this video by showing you a few rhythms. Starting off with one of my most favourite ones. Well, one that I used to hate back on the PSR220, but I love on this one. Oh well, not I had turned a compliment on yet. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Another one of my most favourites, that last one, that first one I played you was 8 Beat Up Pop. Next one is Light Rock Ballad, number 31. Here we go. And the last rhythm I want to show you guys today is at number 80, not 68. If I've got the right one. Oh no, oh no that's the wrong one. I was going to sh show you slow walls. Here it is.
those are a few rhythms. I do have a lot more to show you, but I'll be showing you those in part two. For those who want to see the keyboard, here it is. Sorry if I've sorry if, if I've taken it off camera or anything. But I'm trying to make it so that you can see the keyboard and what it looks like. Oh yeah, round about the back. Let's have a look at the, what, what we've got there. Well, you it's fairly straightforward. You've got a sustain jack here, the all important MIDI in and out, which of course allows us to connect to a computer. However, the cables that you can get for these keyboards are no longer available, as is the keyboard itself. Uh, here we have the uh, basic adapter jack. It'll work with any Yamaha power adapter, any adapter that's recommended by Yamaha, that is. And then you've got a headphone socket. So that's basically all there is to the PSR 260. In part two, I'll be showing you off the rhythms, and in part three, I'll be showing you some demo songs. So I'm looking forward to doing all of that. Right now, though, the PSR 260 and I are off. So see you again.